welcome to marine tech hub uh, today i will be explaining about the interview question for class 4 uh, this is specially with respect to the refrigeration system so before i start the refrigeration question i would like to briefly tell the juniors uh, the basics so that they will understand and remember before you answer any question okay so in this schematic diagram uh, what are all the components we have we have the condenser you can see here this is a condenser where it is being cooled by uh, fresh water here so fresh water in and out so this is cooled by the fresh water so what is happening is the liquid freon from here uh, you can see it will go this line if you trace this line you can see this will go through a dryer with this uh, gel so this dryer will uh, absorb any moisture in the system so this dryer can change by closing these two walls so this is very important then afterwards the liquid will go through this and we have an expansion wall here so from the expansion wall what will happen is liquid will turn into gas and this is the evaporator okay normally the question they will ask is uh, the bulb if you see the bulb of the expansion wall it is connected here at the outlet of the evaporator so if this should not be loose if it is loose also what will happen is it will not sense so what purpose of the bulb is to make sure the liquid is not going into the compressor so what is happening is the if liquid is coming here that means this will sense and close this wall so this is very important so we the gas will go through the evaporator and uh, evaporator what will happen is air will pass through this so we got a fan here so air will pass through this in case if the belt is not okay and if the flow is not okay that means heat transfer will not take place then you can have ice formation in the evaporator so you have to check the belt condition this is very important so if everything is okay then what is happening is the gas will go through the evaporator then it will be getting compressed in the compressor we have uh, inlet wall we have one and outlet wall uh, it is getting compressed always make sure that you never close the outlet wall by mistake you close the outlet wall and you start the compressor then a, you can damage the compressor but anyhow we have the pressure trip hp pressure trip and lp pressure trip so when the pressure in the compressor is much then you have a trip here so we have how many trips low pressure if gas is less you have a trip then high pressure then if the water is not flowing then water pressure so if water pressure is less it will trip so then what is happening is the gas will get compressed okay so in case some liquid is coming in then it will sweat so make sure if the compressor you have a lot of sweating and all so chance are that then you can see uh, a side glass uh, which is always fitted there so if the side glass if you see bubbles coming then you should know what the answer is so i'll be explaining about that so what is happening is the compressor will compress the gas normally the gas which you are using is r404 a in the ship freon 11 22 all these are we are not using anymore so we are using freon gas r404 a this is the latest gas which is friendly gas for the ozone layer okay so once the liquid when the gas is compressed then it will collect in the condenser in the liquid form you have a side glass here you can check the level so but for charging gas for charging gas normally if you want to charge very quickly then you have to charge liquid so liquid you should not charge at the point here you can see this as a charge point here if you charge liquid here what will happen it will go to the compressor here and damage the compressor so always make sure when you are charging liquid you should charge at this point this is the charging point here so once you use this the liquid will go here and it will expand and they can charge when you closing this the liquid will not come from here it will come from the bottle but if you want to charge little little then you can charge gas here so you should know when you are charging 
when the cylinder is kept straight uh, then gas will come if you actually cylinder upside down then the liquid will come so i explained in one of the video about how to charge and all so let's move to the question answer session so in the question answer session they are asking what is short cycling of the refrigerator compressor short cycling means normally the compressor will start stop start stop that frequent starting and stopping is called short cycling so you should know this i am not going to discuss the wrong answer so you remember only the right answer so your memory will be good and the second question is what they are saying in operating refrigerant system with low if the refrigerant is low then what we will see in the side glass in the side glass what you will see is you will see bubbles coming okay it will show bubbles if there is bubbles in the side glass that means the refrigeration system the liquid is less okay this you can come up from knowing the uh, in, when you inspect the side glass you if you see bubbles that means you need to charge there is some leakage in the system okay question number 3 what they are asking is if there is sweating in the crankcase that is crankcase of the compressor so when you can touch the compressor you will see a lot of sweating that means what is happening is the liquid refrigerant is returning to the compressor so that means actually in the compressor only gas should come if liquid is coming that means you have got liquid coming means it's not good so there will be sweating so make sure the expansion valve is working all right or the bulb position is not loose okay uh, question number 4 what they asking is section line between the evaporator and the compressor okay is is frosting up that means the section line from the evaporator and the compressor is frosting up it should not frost up then what is the cause they saying what is the cause due to the thermal expansion valve what is the cause they saying so if there is a frosting in between these two that means the thermal bulb coming loose from the section line thermal bulb which i was talking about if it is loose and it is not okay that means it, it is not expansion valve is not working properly and that's why we are getting the uh, of, of frosting on the line okay very important i was talking about the thermal bulb okay question number 5 if the refrigeration compressor will not start why the compressor is not starting then mean plenty reasons but one of the reason is if there is a lack of refrigeration refrigerant in the system if there is very less gas it will not start so triggering point is that so it will not start so next question question number 6 is if air entering the air cooled refrigerant system if air is in the system and uh, why air comes in the system is normally whenever you are charging the system you have to make a vacuum so that no air is there in the system suppose if air is there and you just uh, charge without making vacuum then you have you will show we will get trouble and you will not get the uh, refrigeration effect good in that case what is happening is the pressure gauge normal pressure head will be more higher than the normal pressure head okay so answer is whenever air is in the system the pressure head will be more than normal okay question number 7 the pr presence of bubbles in the refrigeration system that means if there is pressure if there is a presence of bubbles what will happen what will happen is it will carry moisture and lead corrosion lead to corrosion okay so this is the answer for that now question number 8 they are talking about foaming of the oil if there is foaming of oil in the compressor crankcase so foaming should not happen if it is happening that means the refrigerant boiling out of solution from the loop oil so refrigeration refrigerant is boiling if, from the solution then only the foaming will happen so there are many other reason but out of this four thing this is the answer so if you uh, put a wrong oil in the system then also you'll have a foaming if the compatibility is not correct and th then you'll have a 
forming also question number 9 that is they saying refrigerant gas returning to the compressor should be whenever the gas is coming from the evaporator and it is coming to the compressor it should be superheated and uh, it should not be saturated and other thing it should be it should not carry any liquid so it should be superheated so that no, nothing, no damage is done to the compressor so answer is a highlighted the noise in the refrigeration compressor can be due to various reason so noise can be due to o not bearing piston pin then you have it's like due to flooding back okay then too much of oil in circulation all these points are there the answer is d question number 11 uh, badly leaking refrigeration compressor discharge valve will cause when the, there is a leakage in the discharge valve that means the compressor will run longer time that constant running of the compressor okay if there is a leakage in the discharge valve leakage in the section valve of the compressor that will indicate higher than the normal section pressure if there is a leakage then it will be the section pressure will be higher so question is answer is a so 13 a pressure drop through the refrigeration liquid there is a pressure drop there is a pressure drop in the refrigeration liquid line that will be ca ca causing a formation of flash gas in the liquid line okay pressure drop means there will be a formation of flash gas in the liquid line so this is the answer so property of a good refrigeration oil is it should not have it should have very low wax content okay it should not be high density high viscosity or high pore point these two are wrong the answer is low wax content it should have so you should know the properties of the very good refrigeration system so question number 15 to add refrigerant to a low side of an air condition system the refrigeration should be introduced through actually when you are want to add refrigerant as a low 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 side means low pressure side so they are talking about that means you have to uh, put it in the section section service wall as a vapor as a vapor only you have to put okay not liquid so question number 16 refrigeration isolation wall are of a double seated type so double seated type we have just to permit repacking under pressure so you should remember this okay so this is a very important question we may go wrong here 17 uh, if you want to safely and quick method of adding refrigeration to the refrigeration system that you want to add very quickly so you have to add liquid not vapor vapor will take a lot of time so you have to charge charging wall as a liquid so whenever you are charging you make sure the charging wall is after the you can assured you in the first uh, after the condenser you have a line that is the place where you need to charge not on the section and discharge side of the compressor not not here okay so secondary refrigerant used in the air condition system on board the ship is okay here the answer is water so very important so primary refrigerant is the freon okay so in secondary refrigerant here in this case is water or it can be air also but here since air is not mentioned so you can put water here okay 19 what they are saying is in a refrigeration system thermal expansion valve that is thermal expansion sensing bulb which i was talking about okay the bulb is always after near the evaporator coil outlet side which i showed you okay after the evaporator coil outlet it should not be loose it should be tightened properly okay then in the refrigeration system i was talking about the silica gel silica gel is nothing but is a dehydrator it will absorb all the moisture and all okay question number 21 so all these pipes in the refrigeration systems are made of copper piping why they are made because it offers a greater heat transfer coefficient so answer is b so the second next question is back pressure there is a back pressure regulating valve in the refrigeration system this is there only to make a limit the maximum pressure maximum pressure in the section line of the heat exchanger okay answer is c here then question number 23 whenever you check a leakage of freon by a halide torch okay when there is a leakage of freon then the color of the flame will be green okay just remember that 
in this 24 is they are talking about refrigerant refrigerant lifted is considered to be safe and ideal for most marine application here since it is a very old question it is R22 but nowadays we are using R404A ok the last question is heat removed from the refrigerant in the condenser so what what is the heat what is the heat which is we are removing condenser is heat of compression ok the answer is heat of compression so I hope uh, you understood the uh, different question so if you have any doubt you can message me if you like the video please subscribe and uh, have a nice day thank you